Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Decodin phone case. So I'm going to be using mainly resin charms to decorate my phone case. So these are all charms that I made myself. I do have a tutorial on how to make resin charms. You can really use most things to decorate your phone case. So today I'm in fact using a Sailor Moon keychain on mine. Um, so if you do want to use anything else that's not a resin charm, say, I would just recommend that it be a hard plastic kind of decoration or figurine as it will definitely fare better. It would have a longer lifespan. I use bathroom silicon to make all of my Decoden phone cases. Now this is my favorite brand to use just because it comes in the smaller bottles so I tend to get like two and a bit cases out of a bottle of this size. This is 150 grams for your reference. I've mentioned before but here in New Zealand our bathroom silicon is super difficult to pipe. If you do have dense bathroom silicon like me I do recommend for you to use either some terps or methylated spirits or any other kind of thinning product like a thinner to help thin down your silicon and make it easier to pipe. Besides from that, you'll need plastic cups for mixing any different colors of silicon that you may want and also something to mix your silicon with. So I use acrylic paint to color all of my silicon. Any kind of brand will do. They all seem to work as good as each other. You also need a piping bag with a star tip nozzle. Now, I've just recently started using these silicon bags. So these are fabulous because you can reuse them. If you just leave your bag to like dry out after it has the silicon in there kind of thing, the next time you wanna use it, say in a few days or so, once the silicon's totally dried, you can just turn it inside out and then peel off the old color and um, it'll totally be reusable for next time. So if you like making Decoden phone cases, you know, pretty often like I do, I would recommend investing in some silicon bags like this. You can get these just from dollar stores. You'll also need your phone case and I do always recommend to go for a hard plastic phone cover. So to start with, I'm going to be adding a bunch of scratches to the phone case just so that the silicon has something to grip onto. So I want to go with a two-tone frosting for my Deco Den case today, which is basically what I do every time. I just find it more interesting and fun. Now, the way that you achieve that is whatever color you want at the top of your cell phone is the color that you're going to put into your bag first. So then whatever color you want second is the color that you're adding in on top of that color. Today, I'm actually going to be leaving half of my case white. So I've not done just plain white before. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the silicon straight into my bag and then I'll be dividing out half into here to color it a different color. So you may have noticed that I didn't bother adding any of my terps or methylated spirits and that is because it's currently summer in New Zealand which means that this bathroom silicon is a lot easier to work with. So it is totally very environmentally dependent you could say whereas when it's winter I would definitely be needing to add some of that uh, terps. So it's a good idea to get some blue tack and add it to the corners of your case that way when you place it down it's not going to move around on you when you try to pipe your frosting. I always just use this case here which is just a you know silicon mold for resin stars As you can see, the blue is definitely far tougher to pipe because it has been sitting around the longest in the bag, which is already starting to activate. And as well, I have the blue uh, acrylic paint mixed into it. So mixing in that paint totally changes something about the silicon, which does make it more difficult to pipe.
So here we are guys, here is my newly finished Deco Den phone case. So this is still a, uh, you know, wet to the touch kind of thing. I need to leave this for say two to three days for it to fully set. Hey guys, so it's been a couple of days now and our case is fully dried. So you can see I'm squishing down on the silicon and it's moving but it's still holding its shape. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I do hope that you enjoyed it. And if you happen to be making yourself a Deco Den case, please tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see your creations. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.